Hey everyone, I'm Scott Cunningham, aka Scott C Business, and today we're here with Raphael Kostman, who is the CEO and co-founder at Trust Token. We're going to be diving into uh, everything that they've been doing in the last little while and just going over this. I haven't done any stablecoin related projects before, so uh, I think this is a very good project to start with for my audience. So uh, before we dive into all that, thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks for having me on, Scott. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. So for people who don't know uh, much about you and uh, and Trust Token, can you just start off by telling us a little bit about yourself and maybe how you got into crypto originally? Sure. So I got into crypto when I was an undergrad at Stanford studying computer science. And I was taking some cryptography classes with Dan Bonet, who is a very famous cryptographer and today considered one of the grandfathers or I could say fathers of blockchain technology mm -hmm. and I didn't I, I got interested in it but I unfortunately didn't invest didn't start mi mining or anything like that uh, it wasn't until after I graduated um, I worked for a little while at Google doing AI research and then I left Google and started the company that would become trust token today and when we founded the company uh, we were actually an estate planning company. So we made software to help people make their wills and trusts, which I know sounds very boring, and it was a little bit boring, but um, that's the company that we founded. And then in 2017, um, we saw how, how much crypto was exploding, and we said, wow, we should pivot our company and become a crypto company. And we looked at where we were. Um, we at the time had both technical folks like me on the team, as well as uh, a full-time attorney, Michael, on our team as well. So we combined this, this technical and legal knowledge, and we thought, okay, what in crypto is a really good product that relies both on technology, but also on legal systems? And we came upon stable coins, because the only stable coin at the time was Tether, which people did not trust at all. Um, mm -hmm. But Tether was growing very rapidly and since then has grown to immense size. And so we thought, okay, great move for us would be let's go ahead and launch a, an actually trustworthy USD stable coin. Yeah. That's yeah, how we got wow. crypto. Kind of a winding Yeah, that's path. awesome. Yeah, yeah. And, and then since you guys have gone to... Uh, create a bunch of different stable coins, like for uh, the Australian dollar and the Canadian dollar, um, which is which is fantastic because you know there was very little stable coins for a long time. Um, I guess for people who don't really who aren't as familiar with like what stable coins are and like what's the point of a stable coin, you know, some people are like, why go back into stable coins if we're trying to do crypto, right? Uh, so do you want to just kind of break that down? Yeah, absolutely. So a stable coin is a cryptocurrency that is meant to have stable value. And there are many ways to achieve that. So the way that our product TrueUSD achieves that is by being backed one for one with US dollars. But we, as you mentioned, since launching True USD in 2018, we also launched True British Pound, Canadian Dollar, Hong Kong Dollar, and Australian Dollar. So we now have five stable coins in total. And each one is backed one for one with the corresponding fiat currency. Now, that's not the only way to design a stable coin. There are also coins like DAI from the Maker team. And DAI is actually backed by crypto assets like Ether. Um, and all kinds of other crypto assets as well. It's a, it's a much more complex system, but people do say it can be more, more decentralized. But the model that we're using for TrueUSD and these other stable coins is very simple. It's just backed one for one with the fiat currency. Yeah, yeah. And that makes sense to me. For people who have, like you mentioned, uh, there was a lot of distrust around uh, Tether. How are you guys building that trust and kind of, you know, proving the one-to-one -one backing and, and building that integrity and trust? Yeah, there's a couple things we're doing there. Um, is it actually possible for, since we've got video, can I, um, is it possible to share my screen and I could show you one or two things? Yeah, we're doing yeah, on the absolutely. Trust side? So Scott, on things we're doing to 
uh, improve and maintain the trust in TrueUSD and other, or other stable coins, one investment that we've made is we've made TrueUSD and our four other stable coins the only stable coins in the world to get real time attestations from a third party accounting firm. So that's the dashboard you're looking at right here. You can actually see the number of true USD in circulation and the number of dollars backing that true USD. So right now it's 330 million tokens circulating glo globally, 332 million dollars that are sitting with our banking partners. And you can see analogous information for the other four coins. And yep. this is provided real time 24 seven by Armanino, which is an accounting firm that actually connects directly to our banking partners. And they are inspecting those funds via API 24 seven and reporting it right here on a dashboard. So the information you're seeing here does not go through our servers. We don't control this or touch this in any way. This is completely provided by a third party. And they even run their own Ethereum nodes to verify the number of tokens on the blockchain. So this is not reliant upon Etherscan or Infura or any provider like that. Wow. Yeah, that is, that is amazing. And Scott, what we actually do to take this to the next level is we, after we launched this, we partnered with Chainlink. And we worked with Chainlink to actually take this same data and have their network of oracles put it on chain so that smart contracts can actually directly examine the assets backing TrueUSD. So that goes directly from our, our banking partners get inspected by Armanino, our third-party accounting firm, which then sends that information to oracles who put it on chain. And so we're nowhere in that process. And a smart contract can actually get this chain link feed right here and can see, okay, every single true USD is fully 100% backed, and smart contracts could respond to this. If a true USD ever were to not be fully backed, they could pause deposits and withdrawals or take some other action to protect their users or protect their protocol. So this is also something that no other stablecoin in the history of the world has ever done, and we think takes the trust of TrueUSD to a whole new level. Yeah, ab absolutely. And I mean, and the fact that you guys have done this with multiple currencies from multiple countries is, is that much more amazing. That's right. We don't have those other ones on chain yet. We do have them here in the Trust Explorer with our Menino, oh, Okay. but we are working with Chainlink and do want to get those ones on chain as well. Yeah. 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 I mean, you guys have, are definitely doing your due diligence uh, much more so than I've seen with a lot of other stable coins. So that's actually really, really good to see, especially for people who are questioning the integrity or, you know, have seen a lot of articles coming out about Tether and, it, you know, it makes them very cautionary towards buying any of these kinds of cryptos or getting involved in these things. So I, I think what you guys are doing is amazing. Thank you. That's exactly right. Yeah. So um, what problem are you kind of setting out to solve with Trust Token? Well, so um, there's a couple items there. So we've talked about our stable coins. But we haven't talked about yet is TrueFi, our uncollateralized lending protocol, mm -hmm. um, which solves, we think, a major problem for DeFi. Maybe I could go a little into that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so for folks that are um, familiar with DeFi, um, you're probably familiar with collateralized lending. So um, maybe I can just show something that most people will probably be familiar with. But um, this here is Compound Finance. Compound is one of the largest DeFi products in the world. And they've got, as you can see here, $12 billion supplied to the protocol today. So they are a huge, huge protocol. Um, very, very impressive success. And they are lending out $5 billion of those dollars. And mm -hmm. the way that Compound works, and the way that most of DeFi works today, is based on what's called over-collateralized lending. So... With Compound, for example, you can put up $150 of Ether, and then you could borrow $100 of a stablecoin. Or you could put up $150 of a stablecoin and then borrow $100 of Ether. 
So that's called over collateralized lending because you have to always put up more collateral than you are borrowing. And that mm-hmm. is what protects the, the protocol and keeps it safe. So they're lending out these $5 billion, but you know, if any one of those thousands of borrowers were to default, the protocol is holding their collateral and it can actually liquidate that collateral to protect the loan that it's made. So that's the yeah. way that Compound works. That's the way a lot of DeFi works today. Ave, Maker, many other protocols work similarly. That's over collateralized lending. And what we are doing that is pretty innovative is we are doing uncollateralized lending in a DeFi protocol, which is a bit of a higher risk, higher reward segment of the market. But we do mm-hmm. have some very good processes in place to make sure that users are protected. So I can show you what that looks like. So yeah. this is our product, TrueFi, and it is built on top of our stablecoin, TrueUSD. And we're actually very soon going to be rolling out a feature where we're adding other stablecoins as well. And uh, the way it works is similar to Compound, but instead of having collateral, we have to actually vet borrowers very carefully and uh, you know, make sure that they're credit worthy so that they'll return their loans. And the TrueFi protocol so far has done tens of millions of dollars of loans at a very attractive interest rate, much higher than the interest rates uh, that Compound offers actually, and has so far has had zero defaults. And um, part of the way that we achieve that is we do work with some of the best borrowers in the business. So if you you can actually see here, because this is DeFi, everything about the platform is 100% public. So you can see here, the borrowers in the platform include uh, Amber Group, uh, Nibio, Grapefruit, um, Alameda Research, uh, which is Sam Bankman-Fried's uh, trading company. Um, a lot of the top borrowers in the business um, are working here with us on TrueFi and are receiving the funds that people put into the lending pool. Okay. So would you say, um, just a real quick question, would you say uh, yep. that most of the loans are going to more enterprise clients i guess rather than just like the average person looking to take out like maybe like a a five hundred thousand dollar loan or something like that yes it's right now the truefi protocol allows anyone to be a lender you can come in with any ethereum address and lend as little as one dollar or you can lend a million dollars into the lending pool but to be a borrower where the truefi protocol is only right now working with vetted KYC institutions um, but that are either trading firms or exchanges. And these institutions usually have tens or hundreds of millions of dollars already under management and have a multi-year track record. And that is part of what makes them very credit worthy. So the protocol can be confident giving them a multi-million dollar loan uncollateralized. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So generally this is pitched i guess as like um you're you should get higher interest rates on these on lending if you're using trufi compared to a competitor for example exactly yeah if you look at the rates okay. that that products like compound offer you know they beat heck out of what i'm getting in my chase bank account today in traditional yeah. finance i'm currently getting 0.01% so one basis yeah. point. And if you look at Compound, here on stable coins, USDC, they're offering 3.99. DAI, it's 5.06. Tether, it's 2.93. This is pretty standard for collateralized lending in DeFi. And you're kind of in the 3 to 5% range. Mm-hmm. You can see that, that um, most of the non-stable coins actually have an even lower interest rate than stable coins. That's just the market mm-hmm. these days. But if you compare that to TrueFi, TrueFi the unboosted yield that TrueFi is offering today on TrueUSD is 11.1%. That is yeah, several wow. times larger than the yield you can get on Compound. Um, and so that's the reason why we, the protocol can offer that rate is because of how much people are, how much firms are willing to pay to borrow. So you can see the most mm-hmm. recent loan that the protocol approved was um, at 18% APR to Bastion Trading. So that's a $1.5 million loan, 90-day term, and that's a fantastic rate. And, and the vast majority of that APR is going directly to the lenders that are putting true USD into the pool. Yeah, so, so essentially, 
people can get more interest on their on their lending and they don't have to put up as much of a collateral so it takes them less crypto and less money to actually get started exactly yeah we're opening up the, the lending to be collateral less which is huge for these borrowers and for people that are holding stable coins and pretty soon we're going to offer this for other cryptocurrencies as well we're offering you a higher rate than you'd be able to get on almost any other DeFi platform today. That's the high level of what TrueFi is about. Yeah, no, and and that's 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 awesome to uh, to get that that breakdown from you. Um, my my next question is just: Is there a way for you guys to, or or I guess how? challenging is it for me as a user to withdraw the funds that i've earned like is there a kyc on my side do i have to get like an approval what is what does the process look like uh for actually like getting those earnings so it's actually really easy this is true awesome. DeFi. So you can go in and out anytime 24 7 withdraw your money anytime and that 11.1%, um, that's the current APY, you know, that does flex up and flex down, but depending on marketing conditions, but it's almost always better than the collateralized lending protocols like Compound or Aave. And you earn that directly in stable coins 24 seven and can withdraw it anytime you like. Um, there, is a, there is a very slight fee on the exit when, when you remove your funds, but it's usually less than half a percent. And so, as long as you're keeping your money in there for a little while, then you're going to more than earn that amount. And I would mention that that 11.1%, that's the base rate that the protocol is paying right now. But there's actually an even higher rate um, that, we, that the protocol offers because it's giving out TRU tokens. So the protocol is governed by the TRU token called TRUE. And it gives out TRUE to all of the users of the protocol just to be just to incentivize the use of the protocol and also to put the governance of the protocol directly into the user's hands, which is something that we think is important for the protocol and for the community. And so that it, you get paid 11.1%, that's just in stablecoin, but then another approximately, right now it's approximately 30, 35% that's paid out in TRU. So the total rate you'd be getting today if you put a dollar in TrueFi is 46.5% APY. And that does flex up and down depending on the price of TRU and other market factors. But um, you know, that's, that's roughly what, you, what you'd be seeing uh, coming into your wallet. Yeah, and, and that's fantastic. And the reason I ask is because with a lot of lending platforms, um, you have to give them your your crypto you lock it in and then when you actually want to get it out you have to like you know you have to like ask to get it out so like if i'm talking about like celsius or BlockFi, more like like these lending platforms if i want to actually get my money out it'll say like oh like wait 24 hours we have to like approve this and i really did not like that at all um, yeah. and, and I, and I stopped using them specifically because of that. So I think that is a very, very important point for people who are very, they, they want the full access to their funds at all times and not have to like ask for it. That's very, very important. Exactly. That is part of the core ethos of DeFi. You just sign a yeah. transaction and you pull your funds out yourself. You don't have to ask anyone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and I think that is actually so, so, so important. Um, and that a lot of people miss that when they're looking at these different platforms and they don't realize that they're giving over the keys, like they're giving everything over to these companies. Um, and you know, that's, that can easily result in a very, very bad time for a lot of people. So what makes trust token i mean aside from some of the other things that we've already talked about what really makes it different from a lot of other stable coins that we've seen in in the uh, in the space well so our stable coin true usd um you know it's not that different from other fiat backed stable coins but i do think that it has a higher level of trust and transparency than any other stable coin on the market because of the real-time attestations and putting that information on chain that we talked about earlier. That I think yeah. is a unique 
a unique property uh, that just true USD and the other true stable coins uh, have. Yeah. And is that kind of where the motivation to name it trust token came from? Like, like, is that like the origins or the motivations behind the name, I guess? Well, our, so our company is called trust token and um, we called the company that because I guess we wanted to make tokens that people trust. And we just thought, um, especially, you know, uh, that tether was the only other stable coin in the world when we launched true usd that uh, we're the only fiat backed stable coin in the world um you know we we thought like trust has to be a really core part of what we do and we might as well put it in the name and then true mm-hmm. usd the stable coin is called that because it is true usd yeah yeah it's meant to just and accurately it- describe what it is yeah, yeah. And uh and it was it just so happened that you guys had basically the opposite ticker of Tether? Like was that just like happenstance or was that purposeful or um, it, it was it was mostly happenstance, just you know, T U S D as opposed to USDT. But when we saw it, we liked it and we the 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 joke, I don't remember who originally made this up. The joke is that yeah, true USD, it's like it's like Tether. But we put true first. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, and then so yeah, you said it's one to one backing. What uh what role do you feel that DeFi has to play in uh, in cryptocurrency adoption and, and how important is things like TrueFi going to be going forward, do you feel? Well, I think it's going to be huge. I wouldn't be working on it if I didn't think it was going to be huge. Yeah. So yeah. what we're seeing with DeFi protocols in the that are in the billions and tens of billions of dollars, I think is candidly the beginning. This is just the beginning of where DeFi is going. And I believe that over the next couple of years, DeFi is going to take a very significant bike, bite out of all of traditional finance. And I could see DeFi ending up being a full third or a full two thirds of the entire financial sector. And if we're going to get from here to there, there's a ton of stuff that needs to be built, no question. And there's also billions, probably hundreds of billions of dollars that need to flow from one financial system over to the other. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, um, Again, like I can't stress how important it is that uh, you you have full true access to your funds when you're doing something like this. So I'll I'll definitely be uh, taking a more deep look at TrueFi after this as well. Um, so how? Uh, no, sorry, we covered that. What are some of the next big updates for Trust Token? And like, what are some things that you guys have in the works that we might see in the next six months or in 2021? Well, so there's a couple of things that I can't announce quite yet, but I'll tell you okay. some exciting things on the roadmap for TrueFi are, um, one is we're making TrueFi multi-asset. Right now it only supports TrueUSD, but we're mm-hmm. going to be adding other stable coins and then other cryptos down the road so that you could put your Ether or your Bitcoin or even altcoins into a lending pool and start earning a really attractive rate on them. That's something that we think is going to help TrueFi grow from right now the tens of millions in size to the hundreds of millions or billions, because there is a huge amount of money sitting around in Bitcoin or Ether or other assets, which is either not earning anything or earning a very, very low rate. And with a much more efficient lending system like TrueFi, we think we can offer oftentimes 2x or 5x. Um, the rate that people are getting on other platforms. So that's one thing we're excited about. The second thing that we're doing on the TrueFi side is we're adding lines of credit. So right now, everything TrueFi does is fixed term, fixed rate loans. And that's been good just to get TrueFi started. But a lot of our borrowers have been asking for lines of credit where the protocol could improve them. approve them. Let's say, Scott, let's say you're approved for a mil- up to a million dollars by the protocol, then you can actually pull that line of credit or put it back anytime you want. 
And part of the power of crypto is that because crypto can move 24-7, you can move money instantly, any time of night or day. That means that money can move with a protocol like this, money can move instantly to wherever it is needed the most. Like, let's say, Scott, you run a, a trading firm, you might pull a million dollars from your line of credit to do a single trade. You, and then an hour later, that trade's complete, you send the million dollars back, and maybe another trading firm that is doing something else, they pull their line of credit. So you can imagine the money is flowing around between all the different borrowers on the platform and immediately going to wherever it can receive the best risk-adjusted risk return. And that doesn't just include funds, like what we currently have on the, on the platform, that can also include other protocols as well. So a CERM protocol, whether it's Curve.Fi or SushiSwap, Uniswap, Compound, Aave, whichever one of those protocols is offering the best risk-adjusted return, they could potentially have a line of credit as well where the, proto true, the true fire protocol could send them capital if they need it and pull it back uh, when they're not offering as, as, as competitive of a rate. That's really awesome. the vision of where we see our protocol going and where we see DeFi going in general, just allowing money to move more quickly to wherever it is needed the most. Yeah, yeah, and that's fantastic. And um, I keep, uh, I keep, pointing this out but uh the fact that you could that, that you guys are going to bring in bitcoin and other currencies again so so important because i i don't like lending bitcoin or ethereum because i have to give it to whatever entity i'm lending uh but if you guys are going to introduce that in a way that i could do that and still have the ownership i think that is just absolutely phenomenal and i know a lot of people who would be more than happy to unlock their 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 crypto that they haven't really touched and actually put that into use um so that's absolutely fantastic um how do you feel that uh trust token fits in with all the other similar projects or how is it like uniquely different i guess you you might have already covered this but if you want to reiterate a little bit well in terms of how it's different TrueFi is going after uncollateralized lending, and almost all of DeFi today has been built on over-collateralized lending, which we think is a very important sector, but is just the first step for DeFi. And growing into uncollateralized lending, we think is a really important next step. And that is really when you get into having credit scores in DeFi, which is something that we're working on, of being able to say, this Ethereum address, based on its lending history with TrueFi, based on its holdings and its usage of other protocols, this Ethereum address, we can say, has a credit score of 700 or 600 and therefore gets a certain rate or a certain amount of credit with a protocol. And that's really powerful, something that doesn't exist at all in DeFi today and could allow for you know, much higher returns for capital and give a lot more people access to be able to borrow capital once they've established that track record over time. Awesome. So when will we see credit scores come into uh, the crypto space? In 2021. This is the year that you're going to see credit scores in the crypto space. Um, maybe even within the next three to six months. It's something we are awesome. actively, actively working on. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, you guys are definitely... Uh, really innovating for a lot of things uh, in the space so it's it's awesome to see that you guys are really just pushing to solve a lot of these problems and 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 bringing DeFi to a lot more people and making it just a lot more feasible to get involved with so that's absolutely fantastic um where do you see you. trust token going in the next like year in the next five years it's hard to look that far ahead uh, in the crypto space with everything changing as it does, but uh, in an ideal scenario, I guess. Wow. Well, it's definitely hard to predict where crypto is going to go, but the way I see it, there is a huge, huge amount to build because what we are basically doing as an industry is we're taking all of finance and we are building it properly the way that it 
should be built in the 21st century. And if you look at today, let's say, uh, let's say two parties are settling um, a, a trade of one Apple stock that happens on the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ, right? The way that a process like that happens today is so convoluted, the number of clearing houses and brokers and different parties involved, it is insanely complex and it is a patchwork of different systems that are glued together in a very inefficient way. And it results in a lot of middlemen and a lot of fees, a lot of slowdowns. You've probably heard of T plus two settlement, right? The idea that you can do a trade and then settle the trade several days later. That's a wild mm. idea. In crypto, settlement is instant, simultaneous with a trade on something mm. like SushiSwap or Uniswap or another DEX, right? There's no separation between trade and settlement. You know, if you hold an asset in crypto, you hold the asset. It's that simple. So this is really taking a lot of these financial systems and just building them properly. So we've got a ton to build. You know, collateralized lending was a huge first building block in DeFi along with decentralized exchanges. We think uncollateralized lending is the next one that we're working on now. Credit scores is built on top of that and is another very important piece. And what's going to be next after that? I'm not sure but we're going to be involved in it one way or the other. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So everyone, uh, you definitely have to go and check out TrueFi. You definitely have to go and check out uh, all the stable coins that they've launched. Where can everyone go to learn more about you, about TrueFi, about Trust Token? So for, for me and for our company, I would say check us out on Twitter. I'm just Raphael Cosman, R-A-F-A-E-L-C-O-S-M-A-N on Twitter. And our company is at Trust Token, T-R-U-S-T-T-O-K-E-N. And then if you want to check out our product, TrueFi, just go to TrueFi.io. And we've got a lot of information there, including a link to our Discord community. If you want to come and meet with us, ask us any questions about the product, um, feel free to join. I'd love to see you in there. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, everyone, uh, you heard it here. They've got some crazy, awesome new innovations for the DeFi space. Uh, I'm definitely going to be checking it out and maybe making a video on that soon enough. So definitely look out for that. And uh, thank you so much again for coming on the show. Thanks for having me on, Scott. This has been great. Awesome. All right. Cheers. Cheers.